So a very healthy crowd inside the stadium as the holders begin their defence of the cup. And Mullerwall are here as very determined opponents. The manager, Tommy McLean, has put a great deal of thought into his tactical lineup. And right at the start, it appears as though he's playing with three central defenders, four in midfield and three up front. So that's certainly a statement of intent from the Mullerwall management. Played in by Bett. Turned away there by Maxwell on the opening goal. He's being chopped off. Eric McLeish scored, but the flag was already up. And a major let off there for Motherwell. Ball flighted in here by Jim Bett. Uh, it was at that point McLeish, you can see offside as the header came in from Irvin. And no complaint from the Aberdeen skipper. Cooper's header, there's Ferguson. O'Neill. Dolan is offered assistance from Chris McCart. Oh, that's getting up well. And a fine effort there from Ian Angus. Good play once again from Motherwell. Breaking very swiftly and to excellent effect. Laid back there by Ferguson. The shooting chance was on for Angus. And how he'd have loved to score from there. to get forward, over and underneath that. Well, that was to Jess, to fight. great play by Jess! The menace of Ian Jess, apparent once again. Motherwell thinking, I've noted only about going in at half-time all square. It's kept in play well, allowing Arnott to break from the right. He's well challenged by Robertson. Angus to Patterson. This is Cooper, Boyd is going past him on the left, here's David Cooper with a shooting chance. Still Cooper in possession. And it's Dolan with a final shot. Oh, what a shock that could have created right on the half-time whistle. It was Cooper's craft and confidence in possession which set up the chance. Looking for a shot himself originally, I think. Then he spotted Jamie Dolan on the right and the shot was sliced wide. doing well in the air once again there's O'Neill now Cooper attacking the Aberdeen defence great play by Cooper there's Dolan turned away by Stephen Wright but once again superb play inspired by Cooper from Motherwell well he's got such remarkable vision here he retains complete control of the ball still looking up all the time to pick out the pass there for Dolan and that cross a little bit too high perhaps, allowing Wright to come in at the far post to clear. Finish his head up. Connor helping it on. There's O'Neill. Now McCart. Played back by Arnott for Cooper. McCart coming forward on the right. This is promising again for Motherwell. Ian Ferguson. And the head out inside the penalty area from Ian Angus. Aberdeen suddenly won exposed. Well, the best chance of the match so far for Motherwell. Ian Ferguson's delightful outswinger right to the head of Ian Angus, who was on his own unmarked. But the header was too direct at Fielsnelders. So a substitution going to be made by Motherwell before this free kick is taken. The player going up is Ian Ferguson, and the replacement is Steve Cook. Certainly has snatched a number of very important goals from Motherwell since he signed for them from East Fife nearly five years ago. So Cooper commanding this dead ball situation. Cross it goes to Kirk. And his first shot of the match has put Motherwell ahead. It's Steve Kirk's first touch in the game. And the Motherwell fans go wild behind that goal. Well, 
Well, Theo Snell doesn't be very concerned about this. It was played square away from the wall by Cooper. Then it was Kirk on Mark, a powerful left foot shot. Snell does arrive late and can only help the ball into the net. Well, Theo Snell does has been idle for long periods in the match, but when he was called upon there, he wasn't able to get across. Well, Stevie Kirk is being booked by the referee Alistair Hewitt for the celebrations after the goal. But what drama here at Pitodry. The 78th minute of the match, Steve Kirk comes on and with his first kick of the game puts Motherwell in front. Well, the Motherwell supporters behind Phil Stell are on their feet now, chanting in delight. And I don't think they could have expected or hoped for fortune such as this. Played to the middle there, and a claim for a penalty kick is waved aside though by the referee. Drama once again, Scott Booth was brought down. Contest there from Alec McLeish. Although I feel that these appeals are more in hope than expectation. Played in there by McLeish. Played through the gap. There was Booth with Craig Patterson who appeared to be trying to avoid a collision and the referee appeared to be correct. Booth is still upset about not getting the penalty. Well now into time added on for stoppages but there's no more of that. The holders are out of the Tennant Scottish Cup. Steve Kirk has won the match for Motherwell. History has repeated itself 16 years from the time in 75 when Motherwell won a cup tie here at Pitodre, Kirk with his first touch of the match has drilled the ball beyond Theo Snelders and Mother will go through to the fourth round.